So here we're going to have a look at this little drawing here, where we have a cone and a sphere touching it. Okay, so it's page 43 of your book. Now, I'll pop this out of the way for the moment. First thing I'm going to draw is my XY line. Just make sure on our camera here. There we go. And we'll pick a point where it's going to be the center. I guess my center, my circle is going to be along this line. The apex of the cone is going to be up there. And we just draw that down. Now, we know that this is 30 mil diameter. So again, we just decide the center of the cone is going to be here. All right. Now, set a compass to 30 mil. That's the radius of the base of my cone. And we'll draw this in. I'm just going to draw it as a construction for the moment because we may have a bit of it hidden by the final um, the final sphere. So we just need to do a small readjustment here to make sure we can see everything. Apologies. All right, and we're back. Now, the drawer cone, in the question, it tells it, it also has an altitude of 60 mil. So we'll just mark that out along the center line here. That's the top of my cone. And for the bottom of the cone, we just project up from the circle. Always much easier to project from a circle rather than to it. So there we are, and there's my cone. Again, we just draw this in as a construction for the moment because we don't know what we can see or can't see yet. And the next piece of information they give us is about point P. So point P is 20 millimeters along a line that's 30 degrees from the vertical. So we'll draw that line as a construction. There we go. And we come 20 millimeters along this line. Now, I know later on in the drawing, I'm gonna need this a bit longer and that's why it goes so far out. If you're not sure about that, again, you can just draw it to there and we can extend it later on. So. 15 to 17, so that's 20 mil out, and that is point P. Okay, we are trying to draw a sphere that touches P, and that's all we're really given, so we need to do a little bit of thinking on this one. So, first things first, I know P would be somewhere up here, but I don't know anything about the height of it yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring P right around here, so I would see the sphere in its simplest view when I look at an elevation. So let's rotate P. So spinning from the center, spin around there. And that's what we're going to call P dash. Okay, to see the elevation, I'm looking at the plan this way, perpendicular to that line. All right, which means I now know this is on the edge. All right, so that's P dash. Now, I can actually find P here. I don't know if I need it yet, but we'll, we'll throw it in. Might be useful. And there we are. Only took a second anyway. So now, in the new position, I should be able to see this the sphere as a circle that's tangent to this edge and tangent to the ground because it's touching the ground. Um, if I knew how tall it was, I could draw a line across, but I don't, don't know how tall it is yet. Well, if it's touching a P, its center will lie along a line perpendicular to it. So set up my set squares. So I've got long edge and long edge. And there we are. And now I'm using this 90 degree with we'll slide along here. And the center is somewhere on this line. All right. The second bit of information for the center, I'm going to bisect this angle here. Okay, because it's tangent to that, and tangent to that, the center is on a line in the middle of it. To do that, I'm going to use my compass, just like Junior Cermax. So there we go. Set it to any distance. Decent sized distance. Mark, mark. And mark. And mark. All right. So it's the intersection of these two. So just there, 
that's a point on the line that bisects it. The center of the angles is the other point. So here we go. There is that line. So this is the bisector of the angle. And this is perpendicular to the cone. Okay, it's perpendicular to that edge there. So this is my center. Okay, now this is what we're going to call C dash because, of course, it's the center when we rotated it out. Now, I'll draw this as a light construction. You don't have to draw this, but just to help you see it. There we go. Just double check. Yep, that's fine. So there it is. The rotated sphere. Okay. Sphere. Okay. Turns out I can't video and spell at the same time. Um, now we need to put it back. Now we can see that rotation really easy in plan. And we brought this guy up. So now we're going to find out where the rotator center is. And we're going to put it back. There we go. Okay, I won't draw the sphere again here. Again, you don't have to draw this. It's just so you can see what's going on. It's enough to, try to move the center point around. And we rotate it back. And an axis that goes through the center of the cone. Back, 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 back. And there we go. Okay, it's going to be on this line from the center through P and through that. Okay, and that's how I knew earlier on out of habit to extend this. If you hadn't extended it, you can just do it now. So that's my real center. Well, let's go put it back up here. Up we go. Somewhere on this line. Okay, so this one, just to show you, came down, down, down. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Found it. And now we take that information and we're going to go back up to the elevation. We know it's on this line. We know it hasn't changed height as it rotated. So it's somewhere along there. Cross, across, cross. And that is my center. So we're nearly there. Again, we just need to reset the compass to the size of the sphere, because we weren't told it. And we'll draw that in there. Now, in this view, I'm going to see it all. All right, have we gone off camera slightly? No. So that's a heavy line because I'm looking down on it. Again, I'm looking down to see the plan. I'll see those two edges. So that's going to be hidden and that's going to be heavy. Now, I'm not going to draw that yet because I have my compass set up for this guy, which is, of course, over here. I'm going to pop it in there. Again, if you think of it, as I look at the plan and see this one, I can see the whole thing. So again, we will just... Oops, slight slip down. There we go. There is the sphere. And now we'll work out our hidden lines. This one's easy enough to do. Hidden, 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 hidden. Along there. Okay, I can see this bit. Now, don't worry, mine is going to be almost tangent. I think it actually should be slightly over. So we're not going to worry about the tiny details on this stuff just yet. From this drawing, I can see that. All right. There is a small error because as you can see, that edge should come through there. So it's just a slight slip in mine. Probably the compass as I was handling it. And there we go. Let's shorten this down. Okay. So... That's the base of the cone. So I can see this bit of it. But the sphere overlaps it there. So again, holding the pin, I can just make little dashed lines there. And then we're done.